Hi folks, just wanted to do a quick little video to preview my next repair video. We have a crashed Inspire. I'm going to do an assessment on it coming up. Well, you can see the obvious problem here with this one. This is pretty common uh, with these Inspires. They can crash from even a low altitude but because they're so heavy uh, they can do some pretty good damage. Now, uh, not only is the, the boom broken on the left-hand side, uh, but the landing gear itself, too, is broken. You can see this one's broken here. Uh, I've already replaced this one here just to see how difficult or how simple it is, and it wasn't too terribly difficult. Now, we're going to cover that uh, when we do this repair on this boom here. Uh, we're going to be replacing these two, so we'll show you how to do that. And this one we re replace, of course. This one I noticed is leaking. These have a fluid in them, like I guess it's called a hydraulic fluid. It's a very light oil that helps uh, cushion it when it lands. Um, so that's notice is there's leaking out of it here. So I've got one of these on order also, and I've got the other two already here. There's one I have here as a replacement. And the uh, other one I have back there, and I have another one coming. This one here isn't critical that we do this one right away because it's still functional, but we'll get to it eventually. I did have to replace a couple parts already on this here. The battery compartment took a hit back here, and the bottom, actually, which is plastic, uh, was crinkled a little bit on this corner, and the standoff for this back piece here was broken off. So I did get a new battery compartment. I just replaced this piece here. And this was broken off, so I replaced the airframe tag, they call it. The rest of it was in pretty good shape, but there's no damage to this other part of it here. So I left that as, as original. And um, so what I did was I replaced this bottom piece here, this whole airframe bottom, and then it's back, so that's already good to go. It wasn't real difficult. I don't have a um, camera mount. The gimbal mount here is gone, uh, but depending on what you wanted to use, the X3 or the X5, you could use different camera mounts, so I don't know what I'm going to do in that respect. I don't have a, a controller for it. I bought it as you see it here. And no battery. I don't really intend on flying it anytime soon because those things are costly, but eventually I'll, I'll do something about that because I do want to fly it. Um, I just bought it basically to to do a, a, the, the video and, and show you guys how to, how to do it. Um, so I actually do have the replacement boom here also you can see these were available from dji at one time as this, as a whole unit like this and uh, i don't know if they still sell them but i do, was able to get this one off of ebay in an unused condition so it was a, a new old stock i guess you want to call it uh, i don't have to replace this piece here so we're going to take this boom off and just replace this portion of the boom here this is okay if you had to get involved with replacing this because if this were broken, for example, that's a big job because this whole airframe is built around these, this mechanism in here that works the legs up and down. And so there's a lot of disassembly. It could be a day's worth of work to disassemble this and then replace this section here and then reassemble. So thankfully we don't have to do that. Interestingly enough, I discovered that the one of these prop mounts has a, has a broken tab on it. This one right here, you can see that or not. Um, this may be why this Inspire crashed. This is DJI's uh, second mounting uh, system here for props. Uh, the first one was uh, just screwing the props on, either clockwise or counterclockwise, just like on the Phantom 3. Uh, but me, people weren't screwing the props on tight enough, and then these things were crashing. The pop props would spin off. Um, so this is their second attempt. Uh, unfortunately, I did hear that there were some failures with the tabs on these because the tabs aren't very durable. Uh, and uh, this looks like maybe been a situation with this one. This is why it crashed. Uh, this one has no damage on the motor. So, I mean, it's possible that when the, when the prop hit the ground, it, it broke it broke the tab off. But there was this is the one I replaced. There was some breakage here, but nothing on the motor to indicate the motor was hit anywhere. So. It's a good bet that that's what caused the crash. I'm going to uh, replace these with the newest system, which is even more robust. And I'll replace all four mounts and got to re get new propellers anyway, so uh, might as well go with the newest. Well, I guess that's going to cover it pretty much for now. And um, what I'll do is I'll be posting this new video soon, you know, for the repair process, and we'll go through the process together. So with that, 
I will say so long to you and we'll see you on the next video.